Okay, so let's use keyframes here in this case just to zoom in rather quickly on this speaker and then to pull back. So how would you do that using keyframes? So keyframes are up here. Make sure you click on your video. Up here under basic, you'll see these diamonds along the side. These are the keyframes. If you hold, hold over it, it says add a keyframe. So if we added a keyframe right here, so we just click on that and there you, you can see it. That is reflecting all the current properties of the video. That's the color that you see, that's the size and everything. So we'll start there, but rather quickly, we wanna zoom in. So we wanna zoom in from there, let's say over five frames. So one, two, three, four, five, and that's gonna be rather quick. We, we can either hit the diamond, hit the, the keyframe, or if we just uh, scale it, it's gonna automatically put the keyframe there. So you see we scale it and look down there, there's the keyframe. And then we're also going to change the X, Y axis. And you can see that it added the keyframe there. And it's reflected in this keyframe right here. So if we go back now, five frames is pretty fast, boom. And let's say we wanna hold it for a while like that. Okay, so we go back. Again, we click here, so that's gonna keep, that's gonna show us the current properties, but we wanna go back now in five frames, one, two, three, four, five, back to the original, which was 100% and the positions were at zero. Right, and there we are. So that's gonna be a really fast zoom in and then a zoom out. That's rather fast. Now, if you look at these keyframes, and let's say we want it to be slower out, we'll keep it fast in, but we want it to more slowly scale out. You can see that it works. So we just pull the keyframe further apart. So just think of the keyframes as there's a condition, there's a state of being right now, and then this one reflects a difference in that state, in this case, the scale. But it could be anything. It could be color. You can do it for audio as well. And then if you want it to be really gradual, you can increase that distance in between. And then it's much more gradual. So this can be used, for example, in a Ken Burns effect. And this can be used for animation. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's look at how you could do a simple animation. So we have our moon landing image here as our background. It's just a photo. We won't be doing any keyframe on this video. We'll just use this one here, the, the top. So we'll make it a little bit smaller. Let's say we want this rocket to take off from the Earth. So we're going to put it at 1% to start. That's almost invisible. And we put a keyframe there. And then we let it go. How much time? Right about there, let's say... We'll put a, a keyframe and what we want is we want it to scale and rotate a little bit and also just go out just go out of frame so we put a keyframe there and then we want them to come down to the moon right about there so we put a keyframe and pull it down and rotate it a little bit oops and let's have them land right about here okay let's take a look at that launches and coming down Okay, something like that. If you put a sound effect with it, it's much nicer. But that's just all keyframe. If I wanted some part of it to be faster or slower, I can, you know, or this part, let's say when he's up and out of frame to be a shorter time, it'll come right down. And the box around it goes away when you play. There you go. Okay, let's add one more. How about a cat walking on the moon? So we'll take him off frame to begin with, so that's the first one. We'll put a keyframe there, and then after a little while, we'll have them come in there. Once we move, it's gonna automatically put a keyframe, so there it is. And then we just wanna have him kinda bounce around, change his orientation a little bit. We go here, it's gonna put automatically a keyframe once we move it around a little bit. Okay, here, up here, maybe one more, okay. And there he is, walking around. So you, you get the idea. So these are keyframes. And you can do it for audio as well. For example, if I wanted to speak here and I wanted the uh, music to go down, again, we can use it with keyframes. So just hit the keyframe. That's where we want to start. And let's say it's kind of gradually we want it to go down. So put a keyframe there and then just bring the volume down. And when you want it to go up, another keyframe. And then just bring the volume up. So that's another way you can use keyframes.
You can also use it for text. You can change the color with the keyframe. You can change the scaling. So let's say I start here with this font size, put a keyframe, and then I want it to be a little bit bigger. Put in a keyframe again. Let's say something like that. You get the idea. So yeah, keyframes. You can use keyframes really for anything, for the text, for stickers, for video, and for audio. Thanks a lot. Let me know if you have any questions about the keyframes and keyframing.